the disaster remained a closely guarded secret. It wasn't until the end of the USSR that details started to emerge. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at 10 nuclear disasters you've never heard of. No official warning was given. People in Seascale went about as normal. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the biggest accidents involving nuclear energy that rarely gets spoken about. Which of our disasters in this video is the biggest? Let us know in the comments. K-19, 1961, North Atlantic Ocean. Not every nuclear accident happens in a power plant. During the 1950s and 60s, the Soviets rushed to manufacture the nuclear submarine K-19 as part of the Soviet Union and U.S. arms race. In 1961, whilst training in the North Atlantic, the nuclear reactor's cooling system had a leak that caused the reactor's temperature to soar. A pipe ruptured in K-19's nuclear reactor. The leak soon caused radiation to spread throughout the sub. The crew had to build a makeshift coolant system to stop the meltdown. However, it meant that they had to make the ultimate sacrifice. Without proper radiation equipment, they use what they have. The new coolant system was a success, yet the engineering team all perished before the end of a month's time after the incident. Within two years, 15 sailors passed away from radiation injuries. Because of this, the K-19 was later dubbed Hiroshima. Seven of the engineering team died of radiation exposure within two months. 15 more crew members died within two years. Marcoule Nuclear Site, 2011, France. One part of the Marcoule Nuclear Site specializes in melting down low-level radiated metal material in order to produce mixed oxide fuel, or MOX fuel. Well, in 2011, disaster struck at the Centrico Center of the French site. This is a, a major center for uh, nuclear activity in France. As workers were going about their business and placing items into the large furnace, one of the waste products ignited and caused an explosion. One person sadly lost their life, while four others were injured. The explosion also caused a fire to break out on the site. Thankfully, it was quickly contained. A security perimeter has been thrown around the plant, and the authorities say they are monitoring the situation. Even though the blast caused a lot of damage, according to officials, no radiation escaped and leaked around the facility or into the environment. There are no reactors at the Makul site, and police say there's no risk of nuclear contamination to the surrounding area. Yucca Flat, 1970, Nevada, U.S. Just an hour outside of Las Vegas sits the Yucca Flat, an area where the U.S. government has conducted over 700 nuclear tests. Deep in this remote patch of desert, there's a $19 billion hole in the ground. And in 1970, they had one of the worst tests of all time. In what's known as the Bainberry Test of Operation Emery, they detonated a nuclear device 900 feet below the desert. The safety shaft failed to work, so the explosion forced a fissure to open, causing radioactive material to be fired into the sky, with about 86 employees engulfed in the cloud. The government stated that none of the workers received a radioactive dose higher than the guidelines. However, within four years of the explosion, two workers passed away from leukemia. The families of the deceased workers sued the government. By 1996, the court ruled that there was insufficient evidence the exposure caused the illness. Sarov, 1997, Russia. In the 1940s, the town of Sarov, once known as Arzimus-16, became the hub of nuclear weapons with the creation of the All-Russian Scientific Research Institute of Experimental Physics. Then, the area was taken off unclassified maps after it became a closed town, all to keep their secrets secret. In 1997, Russian Federal Nuclear Center senior researcher Alexander Zaharov attempted an experiment with a sphere of highly enriched uranium. Unfortunately, due to incorrect procedures and faulty equipment, Zaharov received a huge dose of radiation at 4850 REM. He perished a few days later. In 2019, five Rosatom State Nuclear Energy Corporation workers were slain from an explosion when testing what was reportedly a nuclear-armed missile nearby. Their bodies were buried in Sarov. The explosion happened at a missile test site just off the northern coast of Russia on Thursday. North Star Bay, 1968, Greenland. During the 1960s, the U.S. ran Operation Chrome Dome. This was the process of keeping B-52 planes, armed with thermonuclear payloads, airborne at all times in order to strike the Soviet Union if required. In 1968, one B-52 experienced a cabin fire whilst over Greenland. 
the plane attempted to make an emergency landing at the Thule Air Base. However, it was too far away. Six of the seven crew managed to activate their ejection seats to safety. The final member perished whilst attempting to bail out. The B-52 crashed in North Star Bay, where there was sea ice. The plane then drifted without anyone on board, landing seven miles outside the base, blowing up on the ice. The payloads detonated and spilled radiation into the surrounding area. American and Danish forces immediately descended onto the crash site to clean it up. Three Mile Island, 1979, Pennsylvania, U.S. With a mix of design flaws, mechanical failures, and insufficient training, the Three Mile Island reactor partial meltdown in 1979 became one of the worst nuclear disasters on U.S. soil. Thankfully, there were no direct fatalities from the incident. I heard a uh, very loud noise uh, that sounded like uh, a uh, huge release of uh, steam. The government authorities also examined the area for a rise in cancer cases from the leaked radiation. Yet, they didn't find a significant increase. However, some other groups claimed that there was an increase. But overall, the lack of reliable data has made it difficult to be sure. All public advisories were finally rescinded, and the 140,000 people who had fled were told to return home. After the incident, the cleanup operation lasted 14 years and finished in 1993. At the time, the cost was believed to have been $1 billion. Today, that's $1.96 billion. And to this day, they deny there were any deaths or serious illnesses as a result of the accident. Wind scale, 1957, United Kingdom. In 1957, a fire erupted in England at Windscale, now known as Sellafield, where the country's first-generation nuclear reactors were located. The fire was caused by a design failure of the plant being built to operate with plutonium, yet switching to tritium later. This meant that the reactor had to run at a higher temperature. The fire was soon burning out of control, radioactivity pouring out of the chimney. The fire lasted for three days and released a huge amount of radiation into the surrounding area. Nearby milk supplies were found to contain iodine-131, which can cause thyroid cancer. So the milk was eradicated. The government ordered all the milk produced for miles around to be poured away. Fearing the public reaction, the government held back and or limited reports of the incident for decades. In 2007, a study concluded that approximately 240 people around the site developed cancer from the radiation fallout. But for the men who diverted a tragedy at Windscale, it came at a great cost. Goiânia, 1987, Brazil. Not every nuclear disaster is from explosions or fires. In 1987, a couple of scavengers took a teletherapy unit from the abandoned medical institute Instituto Goiano do Radioterapia, located in Goiana, Brazil. <laughs> However, that unit still contained a capsule of radioactive cesium chloride. The scavengers, one of which later had to lose some of his fingers due to radiation burns, sold the unit to a junkyard. The owner was fascinated by the glowing material inside. Deus do céu. So he invited people over to look at it and even gave them some of the grains. They were all unknowingly irradiated and dispersed across the city, irradiating others along the way, eventually making their way to a hospital. Altogether, 249 people were irradiated, with four passing away a couple of months after the exposure to the cesium chloride. Toikaimura, 1999, Japan. Until 2011 in Fukushima, the worst nuclear incident in Japan happened at the JCO plant in Tukaimura in 1999. Three workers were attempting to create enriched uranium dioxide fuel. However, unbeknownst to them, they used seven times the quantity of uranyl nitrate required. This caused the reactor to reach critical mass. The three workers were exposed to massive amounts of gamma and neutron radiation from nuclear fission. Only one of the workers survived. A further 70 employees were also exposed to high radiation levels and further radiation leaked into the surrounding area. In 2000, JCO agreed to pay $121 million to settle 6,875 cases from the incident. A year later, several company employees pleaded guilty to negligence. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Kishtim, aka Azorsk and Mayak, 1957, Russia. Back in the 50s, with nuclear weapons all the rage, the Soviet Union wanted to get in on that. So they cut corners to develop the testing site Mayak in Ozyorsk. And it was at Mayak that the nuclear material was produced for the first Soviet atomic bomb. The area, also known as Chelyabinsk 40 and Chelyabinsk 65, was a closed city unmarked on maps. In 1957, an underground tank of high-level liquid nuclear waste that was poorly stored erupted, firing radiation up to 20,000 square miles around the area. At the time, it was the largest nuclear disaster in history. The Soviets attempted to keep it quiet, but when 10,000 people nearby were evacuated within a week, it became impossible. To date, only Chernobyl has released more radiation into the environment than the Mayak explosion. The exact number of fatalities from the Kishtim disaster, as it's so-called, is unknown, though there have been estimates that about 50 people got cancer due to radiation. It's very difficult to say how many subsequently died. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.